Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am so beyond excited to be sharing this video with you guys. This has been something we have been working on for the past several weeks and I am so happy that it's all come together now. I love sharing makeovers and just creating spaces that are not only functional but also beautiful and these are one of my favorite videos to create for you guys, if not my very favorite. They just make me so excited and something that I'm very, very passionate about. So let's go ahead and jump on into it. So to start out, this is one of the bedrooms in our house that we were using previously for a playroom and also kind of a guest bedroom. So it was a little bit of a mixture of a room. And because our basement is just about finished, our boys are moving downstairs and we were kind of swapping some of the rooms out. I've actually outgrown my office that I had downstairs on the main level. And so for that reason, I am taking over this room upstairs and creating a more secluded office that I can get a little bit better work done and feel a little bit more focused in. So here Kyle and I are just clearing out the room, taking the bed out and all of the toys and everything. And then we will start vacuuming the floor and getting that carpet cleaned and just making sure that we are starting with a totally clean space. So once everything was nice and clean and cleared out, we just started putting together this desk. I will have a link down in the description box for all the items that I can find links for and let you guys know along the way, but if I don't mention where something is from, you can go ahead and just leave a comment asking me. But this desk was from Amazon and I love, love, love it. I cannot tell you how amazing it is. It's a really good size and like you can see, it is super, super easy to put together. So I just cannot say enough good things about this desk. I love it. Next, we just moved the couch that I had in my old office upstairs to the new office. I really love having a sitting space in the office. That way the kids can come in and hang out with me or Kyle can come in and just sit while I'm working. And I feel like it just makes the space a little bit more family friendly. And so that's why I love having some type of sitting area in here. So 
So this was actually filmed on two different days. The first day we just really kind of set up the office, put up the furniture and everything. And then the second day I was filming, I actually was going in and decorating everything and adding a few more little furniture pieces. So the first thing I'm bringing in is this bench that I got from HomeGoods and then this little fiddle leaf tree that I actually got from Ikea, but I will link one that I found on Amazon in case if you don't have an Ikea near you. And next I'm just adding in some throw pillows along with some pillow covers that I just got from Amazon. I get all of my pillow covers from Amazon and I just feel like they have such good quality ones lots of different options whether you want different colors or different textures and they are always a pretty good deal as well and you'll notice throughout the room I do like to pay a lot of attention to texture and just add different textures here and there and I feel like that just adds a lot of interest and something you definitely don't want to overlook when decorating Next, I'm just setting up a little tray on my desk. Using a tray is a really good trick if you want to add several different pieces that might not necessarily go together, but you wanna create a space that really feels like it's cohesive. Adding a few items onto a tray will definitely do that, and the tray just really brings it all together. So I did share a few sneak peeks over on Instagram, and I've already gotten tons of messages about this lamp. I will be linking it down below, but this one was from Amazon. And then the other items on the tray, along with pretty much everything else in the room, came from either Amazon, Marshalls, Ikea or the Target dollar spot. Off the beaten track to become a better man, sinking in the sand. Oh, we don't need the past that don't last for tomorrow. Never see the end of the night, but we're sorrow. What do we do to love? What do we do to love? What do we do to love? When everything's said and done, what do we do to love? What do we do to love? What do we do to love when everything's said and done? What do we do to love? This bookshelf is one that I actually got on Amazon several months ago and I had it down in my old office but I love this ladder bookshelf. I feel like it is very pretty and it's also very functional and that was exactly my goal when decorating this as well. I wanted to create some space that would not only look pretty but also be very functional and so that's why I got these baskets. These were again from Marshalls and then I just added a few plants. I have my cameras set up on there and then just a few little pieces that are very special to me or something that just kind of brings me joy when I see it and you'll notice that I'm constantly kind of moving things around, resituating things, pulling things from one side to the other, moving things completely off the shelf and putting new things on. When you are decorating, don't feel like you just have to get it right the first time. This is definitely not the case. And I would say nine times out of 10, it's just kind of trial and error, seeing what looks good, pulling it back and trying something else until you feel like it feels right to you. And that's just kind of the fun of decorating. But there are a few rules that you can follow. And one of the rules that I do like to use as a guideline is pairing things in pairs of three. A lot of times pairs of three looks really, really well together. Have this feeling, feeling, haven't felt for so long Took a hold of me and won't let go I've been sleeping so next, I am just putting up this big mirror. I actually got this on Black Friday for about $20 at Walmart. And one of the tricks that I'm using here is just by putting toothpaste on the hanging holes in the back. And that kind of helps us as a guide to help us hang it up on the wall. Kyle is shaking his head at me because he thinks this is so silly. He thinks that we need to measure a bunch and I am just not that way. I don't wanna take the time to do that. And I feel like a majority of the time, this little trick works just as well as measuring. But Kyle would definitely hate to admit that. Cause you are only a shot away from me to be my everything. You are only a shot away from me to be my everything. Cause you are only a shot away from me to be my everything. Shot away. So here we are just hanging up my YouTube play button and then also my logo sign that was made for me by my friend Emily from Mama From Scratch. And right here I'm just showing you how I am adding the toothpaste to the hanger on the back and that way it will leave some of the toothpaste on the wall when you push it on where you want. And that's how you know where you need to put your screw in. And 
last but not least, I am just adding this little ottoman that I got from Marshalls. And I want to stress, don't be afraid of patterns, even if it seems like it might be a little busy. As long as you don't have too many statement pieces or patterns going on in the room, it will probably pop in the room and make it look a lot better and a lot more interesting. So definitely don't be afraid and go ahead and try that out. So here you can see the before when it was totally cleaned out. I actually forgot to take some before shots from when it was the guest bedroom, but if you go into some of my cleaning videos or some of my home tour videos, you can see what it looked like before when it was a guest room slash playroom. And the transformation in this room has just been incredible. The room feels so much bigger this way. And it's just been so nice to be able to work in a space that I can close the door if I need to. And it just feels like my own space and something that is very simple, but it has all the things that I need and a few little pieces that just kind of make it feel cozy and warm in a place that I can really enjoy being in for a long time since I do spend a lot of time working in this room. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will be having tons more makeover videos as you know because we are going to be making over our new guest room, also Kyle's office downstairs, and all three of the boys rooms in our entire basement. So if you are into home and room makeovers like I am, Definitely make sure that you are subscribed down below with your notification bell on so that you do not miss out on those. Everything is done, I think. You guys have to tell me if you like that poof there. Kyle couldn't really tell me if he loved it or not. I feel like it's nice and practical and I feel like it's good because otherwise it was like so empty there, but then maybe the emptiness is good. Let me know if you guys like the poof. Don't like the poof, let me know. The other thing I'm kind of struggling with right now is this mirror. I love the mirror, love it, so good. This thing is huge. It's probably like three feet tall, maybe like three and a half or four feet wide. I'm wondering if I should put something on each side. Originally, I wanted to put those on each side, but once I got them home, I was like, wow, those are really too small. I was hoping for like tall, thin, skinny, like canvases with plant pictures on it. And then I was hoping to get like a macrame thing for over there, like a wall hanging, but I couldn't find either of those things. So I got those, which I really love those. I do think they look good there. I feel like they look small on camera, but they're not that small um, in like when you're here. Because this is such a wide wall, this is like where you come in from the door. It's such a wide wall and I don't have any like furniture or anything here. A part of me just feels like it feels incomplete, but then maybe the simplicity of it is good. I don't know. Let me know your guys' thoughts because I have asked several of my girlfriends just seeing like, what do you think I need to do? I think I asked over on Instagram, <sighs> I am just needing a little bit of guidance here. I need like an outside eye. I asked Kyle and he's like, I like it. So he's no help, but let me know what you guys think of this because I am super undecided. Nothing.